There's a lot of myths out there about colorectal cancer, and the reality is they're just not true. We thought it would be a good idea to take some of these myths and set the record straight. Colorectal cancer is fatal. Colorectal cancer is a curable disease. Over 90% of patients who are diagnosed at an early stage are cured. Unfortunately, only 40% are identified at an early stage. But we know how we can improve upon this by screening for colon and rectal cancer. I am healthy, I eat well, exercise regularly, and have no symptoms, so there is no way that I could have colon cancer. Colon and rectal cancers actually don't cause any signs or symptoms. Colon cancer does not discriminate. Anyone with a colon is at risk for colon cancer. In fact, colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States. This is why screening is so important. Colonoscopy, in particular, can catch early colon cancers that can be potentially curable with surgery alone. More importantly, colonoscopy can be a preventative test. By screening the colon early, we can actually remove precancerous polyps and prevent them from ever growing into a colon cancer. Most people should begin screening by the age of 50. If you have a personal or family history of colon polyps or colon and rectal cancer, or have a personal medical condition such as inflammatory bowel disease, you may need to begin screening at an earlier age. For women, if you have a personal or family history of ovarian, uterine, or breast cancer, you may as well need to begin screening younger. I don't have any family history of colon cancer, so I'm not at risk. In reality, most people diagnosed with colon cancer don't have a family history of it. Approximately 75% of people diagnosed with colon cancer don't have a family history or risk factors for it. If you do have a family history of colon cancer, you should get screening tests more frequently. Only older people can get colon cancer. Colorectal cancer does not discriminate. It affects men, it affects women, younger people, older people. In fact, even though we see it more often on people older than 50, it has significantly increased on patients younger than 50. In fact, the rate of cancer on people under 50 has doubled since 1990. Some of these patients do not get proper attention because the symptoms that they have may be associated with more common problems seen in this population. But if you have any rectal bleeding or change in your bowel function, please seek your doctor immediately and get attention as soon as you can. Colonoscopies are not covered by health insurance. Many people are concerned that colonoscopy uh, will not be covered by their insurance companies. But in the United States, it is required that insurance companies cover the cost of colonoscopy, the purpose of which is often to prevent colon and rectal cancer. Having a polyp means I have cancer and will need surgery. A polyp is a precancerous growth found in the colon or rectum. If left in place, polyps can turn into colon or rectal cancer. Fortunately, most polyps are small and can be removed through the colonoscope. Once a polyp is removed, it's sent to the pathologist for examination. If it is benign, your gastroenterologist or colorectal surgeon will advise you on your next colonoscopy. If cancerous, additional treatments may be needed. If I need a colostomy or ileostomy, I will not be able to do all the things that I love doing. The reality is stomas, either a colostomy or ileostomy, can be life-saving. Once people get used to their new stomas, they're not limited really in anything that they can do. People with colostomies and ileostomies do triathlons, they go biking, swimming, hiking, travel. They're really not limited in anything that they want to do.